Hi, and thanks for joining us for another five minute walk and sink makeover. Today we're working with Elaine and Shiner. And Elaine, what's going on? Well, Shiner is a five month old uh, Ridgeback. He is way full He's of energy. Five months old. Five months old. How much does he weigh? He's almost 50 pounds. <laughs> yeah, Shiner is uh, losing his teeth. He is um, getting stronger than I am, and I just came from downtown trying to take a walk, and it was really Shiner walking me. It's not, it wasn't pretty. So we're gonna, would you mind if we take a look at that and how, how that actually looks? <laughs> <laughs> sure, Shiner, you wanna take a walk? <gasps> Shiner, wanna go for a walk? Let's go. Okay, I see the problem. Five month old Rhodesian, <laughs> very strong. Very strong. All right, we're gonna put the walk and sink harness on him and the leash, and it's just three easy steps. You okay. Hold on to the first handle. As soon as he starts to walk and pull you, just stop and stand still. As soon as he backs off, give him a pat and keep going. Okay. As you're walking, if he gets in front of you, just simply stop. Wait for him to back off pressure, give him a pat, and keep walking forward. This way, he learns really, really easily, I back off of pressure. Okay? So Where do you, do, are you going to demonstrate? I'm going to put the harness on him, and okay. I'm going to show you how to do it. Great. And we're going to get him going. Okay, great. Okay. Shiner, yay. <laughs> So how was it? What was, did you notice differences? Not amazing. Differences? Amazing. What, what happened? The thing, the most amazing was how simple it was to get him to respond to the pressure. I never once pulled on the leash. Uh, he would, he doesn't like the pressure. He whines. He's a very mouthy dog. I should have named him Whiner, not Shiner. <laughs> we can always change it. <laughs> He's a whiner. Um, whiner. You get in both. <laughs> um, so, and, and I love the way he calms down mm -hmm. when I grab, if I need to get him to calm down, it's easy to grab him without choking him mm -hmm. around his neck. And did you feel like being on the system, did he get more excitable, less excitable? Oh, did no, he calm he's down? much calmer. He's much calmer and now. And how did you feel in terms of being the leader or being in charge? What was Amazing. helpful for you? Well, he's so strong, mm -hmm. you know, so being in charge without having to muscle my way through it was amazing. I really loved that part of it. And um, he seems happier, yeah. you know, he's calmer. Well, we think sometimes too, dogs are so happy when they're just running all over the place and uh, there's just no boundaries. And actually yeah. when they have boundaries, they get happier and they feel better and right. they actually listen better. I know that's true because he is um, happiest when he's in his crate, when there are very clear boundaries, and clearly I haven't been setting clear boundaries. So Did that was what I that? well, just have you know the place that I have my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as you said, I'm creating a consistent boundary, which I haven't been doing. Excellent. Yeah. So this is fantastic, and I want one. Yay! <laughs> When's Thanks for coming? watching another walk and sink five minute makeover.